You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Strength still fails me. Hey, there's a lady over there waving to you. Let's go and see what she wants. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on her, eh? Has she? Causing some mischief. Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with her. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, Experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventure experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Basically, the Adventurer's Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards, and it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. 
Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Add Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. This is bad. Such a hassle. <sighs> what am I going to do? Oh, thank the Thousand Winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out. 
I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? This place will do. Tell us what it's about already! How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. The world we live in is fascinating. Full of unknown and inexplicable wonders. Holy moly, that's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword! Well, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see if we can find out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? <laughs> Arcadian ruins? Arcadian? Mm, can't say I've heard of it. Sorry, I'm still new here, so... Hmm. But you can try posting a commission and see if there are any adventurers who know about it. That's a no-no. We can't afford them beating us to the treasure. Really? Well then, I'll keep a lookout for your treasure. Uh, I, I mean, your Arcadian ruins. We're looking for a sword that fell from 
Celestia, one that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras. It's super mega uber powerful. That's what Paimon said. It's a super epic sword. Anyway, it's fine as long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location. So, Cyrus, do you know where the lost Arcadian ruins are supposed to be? Arcadian ruins? Never heard of them. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see them. Uh, my intel? Still no clues. Well, it's not like it's gonna be easy. Come on, it's the hiding place of the super amazing sword. Anyway, we should go meet up with Gaia first. Huh. Oh, you're back. Do you have news for me? Listen, we asked around the Adventures Guild and found... Well... Nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that... What's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate black market intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian ruins. Really? Where's the guy? Now, now, as per the Black Market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Then what are we waiting here for? That's right. You read my mind. I am a knight, so I shouldn't have any dealings with the Black Market. You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles. By the knights. Ooh! No problemo! It's all for my daughter. Why is this happening to me? I shouldn't have helped him. Him who? Thanks so much for saving me. You're far more reliable than those Favonius guys. It's nothing. She's a traveler. She has to deal with stuff like this all the time. Traveler? I've heard stories about you. I didn't think I'd be saved by the one I'm here to meet. Oh, so you're the... <laughs> I didn't know how I could pay you back initially. But now, I think I'll just give you the intel for free. People in our circle know how important the network is. Well, you did save my life. Lucky? But it's lucky for Kaya, isn't it? He's supposed to pay for the intel. Listen well, then. The intel on the Arcadian ruins. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue. One, the treasure. Wait, is that it? There's also this map that came with it. Could this be the X marks the spot? So the clue is more like a riddle. Well, 
Should be a piece of cake for you, right? Pima! Well, if you can't solve it, we can ask Kaya. He seems like a nerd, too. I'll leave you the intel so you can review it at any time. Thanks, Vile. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What does that mean? If you don't want to ask Kaya, you better figure it out. You're back. Looks like you got the intel. Yes and no. It's a lot more complicated than that. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What do you make of it? Riddles. How quaint. <laughs> Let me think. The city in the lake is clearly Mondstadt. As for the six-armed giants... Hmm... Hey, that's smart. A windmill has six blades. It fits. Wow, that makes sense! So out of the three windmills, two are close to the statue. But the other one is guarding... Ooh, ooh, this one Paimon knows the treasure! <laughs> let's hope it's really that simple. Come on, let's go take a look around that windmill! The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. There's another map! More riddles? Paimon's dizzy already! Oh no! Paimon used up all her brain juice! Paimon will let you have all the fun! Or you could get Kaya to help! sound very 
very good. She doesn't love him at all. The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. Any idea what that means? Is this some page stripped from a love novel that you just happened to find? Oh, so it's not a clue. No wonder someone as clever as Paimon wasn't able to get it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Hmm. Take this more seriously, Kaya. <laughs> this riddle is hard to figure out. Clear Spring. Is it referring to Springvale? Passion rushing through the clear spring. So when does passion rush through a clear spring? Not a bad idea. Like when there's a waterfall, for example. It appears the solution to this enigma relates to the waterfall behind Springvale. Only the clear spring that blesses Mondstadt can reveal the passion described here. And the heart of the waterfall must refer to the cliff on the left side of the waterfall. I noticed it once when I was out on patrol in the area. The ending, cold and alone, probably has something to do with cryo, which can be controlled by a vision. You should probably take someone who can manipulate cryo with you. It's nothing. If a knight of Favonius couldn't even answer a riddle, how could we be trusted to solve criminal mysteries? Let's go take a look in Springvale. We'll leave you to your criminal mysteries. Um. Uh, no, wait. Um, leave you to solving your criminal mysteries.
It sure took a lot of work. But in all fairness, this treasure map really is terrible. It looks like it was drawn by a pirate. So, now... Hmm... Paimon believes that there is no need. Let's go for it. Don't want anyone else to get there before we do. Like... Like the treasure hoarders Gaia told us about. Anyways, Paimon just wants to borrow the sword too. No, you are nothing. Paimon, uh, Paimon just wants to see it. <laughs> Definitely not to become super mega powerful and do nothing but play. <laughs> All right, Paimon will save the chit chat for later. Arcadian treasure hunt, here we go!
see the Arcadian ruins. Is it just me? Or does it look plain? Oh, Paimon gets it. The perfect disguise is always in plain sight. Kaya's grandpa sure is impressive. Oh, mice! Uh, it's no time to get suspicious. We're close. Hurry, the treasure is waiting for us. I will protect you. I'll save you the trouble. How about you let me take over? Sharp eye, but too slow. I'm Izzard. I thank you both on behalf of the treasure hoarders. Ah, uh, we've been keeping a low profile. How did word get out? Hmm. Paimon won't let you have the treasure without a fight. You would be wise not to underestimate us. My gang is just outside waiting for my order. However... They're not as, uh, sociable as me. I'm sorry to rain on your parade. But your gang won't be participating in your current plan. If you'd like to ask why, you can go see them. In Mondstadt Prison. Or perhaps you'd prefer to join them permanently. The Knights. Hey, it's Kaya! Kaya, he wants to steal your treasure! Get him! 
Ugh, almost had it. Oh, you mean the treasure? Sorry, but there wasn't any treasure to begin with. You came all the way for nothing. Just give it up. What? No treasure? Did Kaya just say there isn't any treasure? <laughs> it got me good. Didn't think the knights would resort to such tactics. A thief has no right to criticize the methods of the Knights of Fav... Wait, what are you... You're not gonna get me! Okay, oh god, Whoa, what is this? I didn't mean it! <laughs> what a troublemaker. You, Knight! You're not gonna let me die, are ya? Hmm, what an interesting suggestion. I'll confess and go quietly. Please, just help me. All right, then. Guess I will have to do some overtime work after all. Embarrassing, having my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised, or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, let's take him back. Sir, yes sir. Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? Uh, what? <laughs> of course not. They are the ones who made this arrest possible. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been able to catch the treasure hoarders. Ah, you're a bad man for lying to me! Shame on the knights! All right, all right, stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise you would have informed me of your intentions, no? Just a sec. You did help me out. So you do deserve a reward. This is the triumphant harbinger of dawn that points towards victory. As its name suggests, it symbolizes light and victory. If you don't mind, I would like to present you with this harbinger of dawn as a reward. Harbinger of dawn? That's right. It suits a well-cultured and disciplined person such as yourself. Wouldn't you say, Paimon? Well, if the reward is this Harbinger of Dawn... You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. What a wonderful day. Now, I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance. <laughs> 